These gradient area charts are highly customizable. So I'll start by building the gradient area chart and then add these circle markers. And I'll include the start and end date filter slider so users can choose what time frame this trend is over. To create this area chart, I'll need to create three calculated fields. So I'll create a calculated field for a normalized metric. In here, I'll type the sum of sales minus the window minimum of the sum of sales, and I'll put these in parentheses. Then I'll divide the window max of the sum of sales minus the window minimum of the sum of sales. This formula scales the sales values to a range between zero and one, where zero is the minimum sales in the view and one is the maximum. Since the second field we'll create is similar to our normalized metric, I'm gonna duplicate our normalized metric field. Then I'll edit the copy and I'll call this normalized date. And everywhere there's a sales field, I'll replace this with the order date field. And everywhere there's a sum, I'll replace it with minimum. And the third calculated field I'll create will be for the reverse metric. This will just be one minus the normalized metric field. To create the structure, I'll pull our normalized date into the columns and our normalized metric into the rows and the reverse metric into the rows. Then I'll search order date within our fields and drag that into the all marks. It's in year currently, so I'm gonna right click and choose exact date. Then I'll right click again to make it discrete. For our table calculations, I'll right click on norm date, go to compute using, and choose order date. And I'll do this for all three fields. For the normalized metric mark, I'm gonna change this from automatic to align. For the second reverse metric mark, I'm gonna change this from automatic to an area. Then I'll right click on one of our metrics and make it a dual access. And you can see here there's a lot of lines and that's because I need a filter for order date because this is taking the order date for all the data within our data set. So I'm gonna choose to do a relative filter and look at the last three weeks. Then I'll edit our reverse metric access and have a custom fixed start between negative 0.05 and 1.05. Under scale checked reversed. For the norm metric axis, I'll edit it and give it that same custom range between negative 0.05 and 1.05. Then I'll right click on the norm metric axis and move the marks to the front. And we don't need measure names in our marks anymore, so I'll remove those. To get a gradient effect for the part below the line, I'll go to the Map tab at the top, choose Background Images, and select our data source. Then I'll add an image and choose a gradient image I have saved on my computer. And you can see this image is a gradient that has a blue color at the bottom, and it gets lighter as it goes to the top. So this is a reverse gradient compared to what I would typically do, where it starts dark at the top and gets lighter as it goes down. For the X field, I'll have norm date be between 0 and 1. And for the Y field, I'll choose the norm metric between 0 and 1. Under options, I like to uncheck locking the aspect ratio. So you can see how that gave us a gradient background for everything that's below the line. To make this a reverse looking gradient, I'll go to color in the second marks. And I'll choose a color that matches the bottom of the graph. That way, our area chart, which is the part above the line, matches the same color as the beginning of our gradients. Under the first mark, I'm going to change the color to be a white. Then to get rid of that little extra space, I'm going to go to the halo effect and choose none. And I can use the size slider in the mark to make the line thicker. 
For formatting, I'm going to remove all three of our headers. Then I'll format the worksheet, and under borders, I'll remove the row divider and the column divider. For the lines, I want to remove the zero lines for the sheet. On a dashboard, I'll add our area chart worksheet and hide the title. You can see there's a white space that surrounds our area chart. To get rid of this, I'm going to right click Format, go to Shading, and choose None for the worksheet shading. Then I'll reposition our area chart. And while this is useful at showing a trend, I want to see what time period this trend is over. So I'm going to create a new worksheet called Axis. And adding an axis is super easy. So I'll just pull order date into our columns. And I want to see the actual day, so I'm going to right click and choose day. But you can see this is for the full time frame and not what we filtered for. So I'll go back to our area chart worksheet, right click on our order date filter, go to apply to selected worksheets, and choose our access worksheet. Then back on our access worksheet, you can see that the dates on here align with what we have in our area chart. And to get rid of these little lines, I'll make our marks a polygon. Then I'll right click and edit our access so I can get rid of the access title. So now we're left with just the dates for the access. I'll go back to our dashboard and add our access worksheet. I'll hide the title and then resize it to be under our area chart. And I also want to set this from standard to the entire view. Then I'll right click and format the access so that I can change the shading to match the shading of our background box. And for the font, I want this to be white, a little bit bigger, and bold so it stands out. And I also want to make the tick marks white as well so they stand out a little more. To get rid of that other little white line, I'll right click Format, go to Shading, and change the worksheet shading to None. This next step is purely for the design of it, but I want to add some markers to our area chart. And since it's going to have such a similar structure to our actual area chart, I'm going to right click on our area chart worksheet and hit Duplicate. I'll call this Area Chart Markers. And since this isn't going to use gradients, I can remove our reverse metric field. And since I don't want to mess with the coloring in our other area chart worksheet, I'm going to duplicate our norm date field. So I'll call this norm date marker. And I'll drag this into the columns to replace our existing field. And I'll do this twice. Then I'll right click on the field, go to compute using, and choose the order date. And I'll do this for both. And to get these on the same axis, I'm going to right click on one of them and choose dual axis. For the first mark, I'm going to change this from a line to a circle. And this will be the inside of the circle, so I'm going to choose a blue color that matches our background. For the second mark, I'll also change this to a circle. And for the color, I'm going to choose a orange color so you can see how it looks. So if I use a size slider, I can increase the size of our circle so you can see it peeking behind the blue. They're a little bit off-centered right now, and that's because I need to right-click on one of our axes and synchronize them. And that gives us an outline for our original circle. So now I'm going to change the color of our outline to be white. We can't see it in here, but we'll see it once we put it against a blue background. Then I'll remove the headers since we no longer need them. For formatting, I'll also remove the grid lines. Then on our dashboard, I'll add our markers worksheet. I'll hide the title and I'll position the markers so that they're aligned with our existing gradient area chart. And this is super small, but you can see there's a tiny little white line that goes above our access. I don't like that, so I'm gonna right click format format the lines, and remove the access rulers for the rows. 
I also want users to be able to pick the time frame for this trend. And I want to do this using an interactive start and end date slider. To do this, I'll go to our area chart worksheet and edit our order date filter to use a range of dates rather than a relative date. But you can see this is a big time frame from 2021 to 2024. So our area chart looks a bit cluttered right now. To limit the dates that are included in our slider, I'm going to right click on our order date field to duplicate it. I'll call this order date filter. I'll pull this into the filters and choose a relative date. And I only want the slider to include the last three quarters relative to today. Then I'll right click on our new filter and go to apply to selected worksheets. And I'll check off all the worksheets that I want the order date slider to affect. On a dashboard, I'll go to the worksheet that we applied the filter on. Then I'll click the little down arrow, go to Filters, and choose the second order date. But you can see the values are still from 2021 to 2024. So I'll hit the down arrow on the filter and choose only relevant values. And I'll move the slider around a little to like adjust or reset it. And I'll do this for both the start and end date, since this data set includes dates in the future. And now the options within our slider are only for the past three quarters. For formatting, I'll right click to uncheck title. Then I'll move it into this little box I have. To change the font, I'll use the down arrow and format the filters. And for the body, I'm gonna choose a black color and make it Tableau medium so it sticks out a little bit more. Then I'll add a text object and I'll type the word two in there. I'll change this to Tableau medium and black to match our filter criteria. Then I'll move this in between our start and end date. And now we have a gradient area chart with circle markers to represent sales over time. And users have the option to filter using the slider to show what time frame this trend is over.